Good morning, St. James. How are you all today? It's another week and another chapel story. And I am sorry again that we don't get to be together in person, uh, but my heart is with you all, just like God is with all of you. Uh, and when God is there, we celebrate and we have time to be with God. And so that's what we're going to do today. Uh, so God is in your, uh, your houses and in whatever room that you're watching this, and God is here in the church, and God is in our hearts, uh, and to celebrate that God is with us and to remind us that God is with us during this special time together. And at all times, we're going to light a candle. And today, I am going to light the candle. I know uh, you all love to light the candle, uh, and I wish I could give each of you a turn during the season, but I will light the candle for all of us right now. And we'll see if I can do the magic trick as well as you all can. You see, we got a new candle. Our old candle was getting pretty near the bottom. Okay. So we have our light to remind us this is our special time with God. And magic. Not as good as you all do it, but pretty good. Right, and we told a story last week, and if you didn't get a chance to hear that story, uh, your, your moms or your dads or whoever's taking care of you can find it on the school's Facebook page. And last week we talked about Zacchaeus, who felt like he was too short. He couldn't see Jesus when he came because he was too short to see. Uh, but, but Jesus certainly found him, and it's a great story. So I invite you to go and watch last week's chapel sometime this week if you didn't get to see it. Today, we have another story from the Bible, uh, and this story is about the man who couldn't see. The man who couldn't see. And remember what we call it when Jesus does something absolutely amazing, something that we can hardly believe, something that we normally don't see? Do you remember that word? It begins with a mmm sound. Miracle. So put on your miracle glasses and see if you can see when Jesus does a miracle in this story. Poor Bartimaeus. His eyes were sick. He couldn't see the sun and he couldn't see the trees. He couldn't see the houses and he couldn't see people. But Bartimaeus could hear. And one day, and one day, he heard lots of people walking. Step, 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 step. Are you stepping with me at home? Step, step, step. And he heard lots of people talking. Talk, 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 talk. What is happening, asked Bartimaeus. What is happening? It's Jesus, somebody said. Jesus is coming down the road. We're all walking with him. We're all walking with him. I bet they were pretty excited. It's Jesus, Bartimaeus said to himself. Jesus can make my eyes well. He can make it so I can see again. Jesus, he called. Help me. Jesus, help me, he said. Jesus, help me. Now lots of people were making noise walking. And lots of people were making noise talking. But, but do you think Jesus could hear? Jesus heard Bartimaeus anyway. And Jesus stood still. What do you want me to do for you? He asked kindly. What do you want me to do for you? I bet Jesus already knew. Lord, said Bartimaeus, I want to see again. What do you think Jesus said? What do you think Jesus said? 
I bet I know what he said. I bet he said, yes. I'll tell you what Jesus said. He said, yes, you may see, he told Bartimaeus. And all at once, all at once, are your miracle glasses getting ready to beep? Bartimaeus saw the sun, and he saw the trees, and he saw the houses. Bartimaeus saw the people. But best of all, best of all, Bartimaeus saw Jesus. The end. The end. You know, I always love those stories where Jesus changes somebody's life forever. And it's amazing that Jesus can do things that no one else can do. He can do those things called miracles. But one of the things that I also love about that story the part that's not as much uh, magic as it is that Jesus has such a big heart for all of us is that Jesus hears them. Remember what it said that? That Jesus hears Bartimaeus. Even though everybody's talking, even though everybody's walking, even through all the noise, Jesus hears them. Just like Jesus hears all of us. Whenever we want to talk to him, whenever we want to ask him a question, and he'd say to us, what is it I can do for you? What is it you want? What is it that's on your heart? Sometimes it's not as amazing as when Bartimaeus opens his eyes and he can see. But Jesus listens to all of us. He does amazing things for us. I think it's helpful, especially when we're nervous or scared or hurting in any way, that we take time to just to tell Jesus what it is that we want. And Jesus will listen. Okay? Well, now... So now what we're going to do today is we are going to celebrate all those who have had birthdays in the last week. This is the time where you'll normally come up and sit in our birthday chair, but I hope you're sitting in your birthday chair at home, and I hope you hear these special words just for you as you celebrate your birthday this week. And I wish you a happy birthday as well. So let's put our prayer hands together. Watch over your child, O Lord, as his days increase. Bless and guide him wherever he may be. Strengthen him where he stands. Comfort them when discouraged or sorrowful. Raise them up if they fall. And in their heart, may your peace which passes understanding be with them all the days of their lives. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And now I'd like us to say two prayers today. Since we're not singing, we're going to say two prayers. We're going to say a special prayer where you all are going to pray for what's on your heart, and then we're going to say that prayer we've been working on that we've learned together, the Lord's Prayer. So the Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us pray. Most loving God, we give you thanks for this day and all the days that you give us. We give you thanks for our teachers who are reaching out to us, to our parents and friends, and to all those who love us and take care of us. Be with those who are scared or sad or hurting this day, those who are sick. Let them know that you're there for them, that you are everywhere. You're here in chapel and you're in our houses and you're everywhere and you're in our hearts and you're doing wonderful things just like you made Bartimaeus to see. Be with those that we name right now, all those that we lift up in prayer. And in your living rooms or wherever you're watching this or your dining rooms, you can say the names that are on your hearts, the people that you want to pray for or the pets you want to pray for or anything in the world that you'd like to pray for. You can pray it right now. I pray for you. And I give thanks for you. 
And I pray this all in Jesus' name. Amen. And now let us pray those words that Jesus taught us. We call that prayer the Lord's Prayer. So let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Now, until next week, we're going to close chapel by putting out the candle. But remember, when we put out the candle, that doesn't mean that God goes away at all, because God is always with us. It's just a way to end our special time together. One, two, three. I forgot to guess, but it took three. Well, I hope you all have a great week. Take care, and God bless.